Hello again YouTube and my followers. Happy to be getting some more followers. It's very exciting. So this is my next video and this is one of my burner covers for my stove. Again, so this is what's going to be the inspiration for this particular pour today. But, for the colors it is, but I'm actually going to be pouring over this. This is a uh, <clears throat> little sign that says home as you can read. And it's got some hooks for coats or whatever. Uh, so I bought that, I think, at Michael's recently. <clears throat> so I'm going to be pouring over that, but onto this 10 by 20 inch canvas so that I can use the leftover paint and do something pretty hopefully on the canvas. So the colors I am using are Artist Loft Ready Made in Crimson, the Ready Made, <clears throat> excuse me, in Titanium White, the Ready Made in the Black, and then I have two other Artist Loft colors, but they're mixed with uh, the pour me medium that I have of, um, actually I'm not going to use this one I don't think because I don't have very much at all, so I will use the Artist Loft uh, Sap Green instead of that other green I just had in my hand. And then I'll also use this Artist Loft Leaf Green that is mixed with 60% uh, glue wall, 40% water mixture, and then one-to-one -one paint to glue, glue wall mixture. <clears throat> so those are the colors. I'm just throwing a little, little bit of black just to give it a little bit of distinction and so it doesn't look exactly all the same. And even if I don't, I might end up hanging this in my front hall, I'm not sure. My whole uh, living space in my kitchen, living room, and dining room, which is where I'm doing my painting, um, all got, have reds and uh, that and this, so this will go nice with the whole area. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing this. I'm just going to move this out of the way for a minute, <clears throat> and we'll start pouring our cups, our colors I mean. Okay, just trying to think here. I think I'm going to put some black in first, although that means it's going to come out last. So I'm not going to put very much black. Just enough to kind of cover the bottom because we don't want to use too much of that. Wipe that off. It's getting low that cup so that uh, when I open the lid there, some of it squirted out. And then I'm going to add the red, some red. We'll do, definitely do more red than uh, the black, that's for sure. <clears throat> but I'm going to do multiple layers, I think, but I'm not going to be looking to do them smooth or anything like that or just down the side of the cup so that they don't mix or anything like that. Oh, I'm not going to put the white. I'm going to do the green next. I might not have opened this bottle of green. Just give me a second here. Nope, I haven't opened that yet. Give me one second. <clears throat> Take a little silver liner. Off. There we go. Okay, some green, and then I'll do some white, and then some of my leaf green. Very pretty green, I like this. I'm not a huge green fan overall, but I do like this. I'm just going to do a tiny more dribble of black. And then back to the red. Got a lot of red in there though, so I'm going to ease off on the red, although, you know, apples are red in my little cover you saw there. <clears throat> and white. Back to the leaf green. Tiny bit of black. I'm not going to do any more red right now. Do a little bit more green, sap green, a little bit more leaf green, a little bit more white, and then just a tiny bit more red. All right, so I'm just and then I'm just going to be pouring over the home sign. So let me just close up the lids here so they don't get them in the way, just in case. Okay, so I'm going to put this, I haven't, I could have taken these little hooks, uh, hangers off, but I thought I'd leave them on because I want them to get paint too. So I'm going to put that in the middle as much as possible, and then we shall begin pouring. Okay. 
too, we think this is going to be pretty amazing. Hopefully I've got enough paint here. So we've got different colors everywhere, doesn't it? Trying to make sure all of the sign is covered. So it's running well off the sides. So there's nothing not covered now. The only other thing, I'm just going to use <clears throat> a little towel here to direct some of this paint onto the bar so that at least the whole bar, the underside that you can see, is covered well. Okay. And same thing with here. Just going to make sure this sides and everything are all covered. I know it's going to continue to pour off, but I just don't want any spots to be missing anything. There's no silicone in any of this paint, so I don't expect to get any cells. And that's okay for something like this. Okay. I just want to make sure everything's got some covered. Oh my goodness, that looks pretty awesome. Wow. All right. I'm just going to pause the video for a minute or two just to let this finish running off. And then we'll be back, so bear with me here. This video camera doesn't seem to want to... Okay, we are back. <clears throat> so I put a piece of parchment paper here that I'm going to hopefully be able to lift up the uh, home sign and put it on there and I'll just move it out of the way so we can finish. The tilting I have also put some white around there so bear with me here so I can see about lifting that up I should have thought of that maybe you should have put some push pins or something in the back of it but that's all right I'll figure it out because this part is not touching the canvas so I just want to be able to get my fingers under it oh, okay I'm just gonna grab it there okay there we go. And I did notice some of the sign here doesn't have down the side, so I'm just going to help that along a little bit, just this one part. The rest of the sides, oh, maybe this side here too, just didn't get quite enough. And I know it'll tilt off a bit more, but I just want to make sure that it's covered. Okay, so that's that. Just gonna move this into my kitchen out of the way. Be right back. Okay, so let's carry on with our tilting. I'll move that back into frame for you. <clears throat> Sometimes the little cups like to stick to the bottom, which is fine. <clears throat> okay so there we are it kind of looks like Christmassy colors but I'm going to start tilting like I said I did put white all around here to be able to make it uh, tilt well so let me just unstick my clutch though and we'll see what happens I'm just going to start spreading this out might turn into be a bit of a muddy mess maybe if it does then I'll just let it dry and probably do something over top of it but we'll see what happens once we get it spread out I'm gonna turn that around for you so you can see what's happening There may not be enough paint on here to 
adequately cover this canvas, but I can always leave a bit of negative space because I'm actually okay with that. Sometimes I quite like a lot of negative space, but we'll see what happens with this. I don't want to put more paint on just to cover all of this up because then most of what I do add on is most likely going to run off. So we're getting there. Okay, that corner does not want to run off there. All right, now we got it. So I'm just going to turn this around again. We'll go down to this other corner here. Just trying to get it to go there down there. Okay, I'm gonna leave that for now and go back this way. See how much coverage we can get. Okay, hello again. Sorry about that. My uh, camera or my phone ran out of space so while I was doing this tilting so I'm sorry you don't get to see the rest of it I did lose it I had to clear off a bunch of pictures and stuff that I didn't really need from my phone in order to make more space so I will blend these two videos together but I wanted to show you what my pour likes I left the, the uh, negative white space there on purpose I'm going to bring you in for a close-up so this is the bottom left Corner. Again, there's no cells going to be in here because there's no silicone in any of these paints. But I love the ripply effects from the pour. <clears throat> we're going to move across the middle bottom. And this is where the pink, the red turned to pink when it mixed with the white. And there's some red in there too, so I'm okay with that. It all seems to mostly have settled into this corner. Sorry about that. Get my camera video to focus here. So now we're over at the bottom right corner. And that's where I have my other bit of white space, white negative space, which I left on purpose, opposite corners. I like that idea. I like this green right here. kind of makes me think of a, a river going along here, so that's pretty cool. Now we're going to move up to the top right corner. So you can see up there. And then we'll move across the middle top. This is where I accidentally dropped a little drop of paint when I was moving things around. Not a big deal. I'm not worried about it. And then all the way across to that upper left corner again. And I'm just going to go in the middle. I do apply. Apologize for the glare spot. I do need to get some better lighting here. But I'm going to go across the middle so you can see that. And then I'm just going to pause for a second and we'll move over and I'll show you the home sign and see what it's looking like so far. Bear with me again. Okay, so here we are with the home sign. Sorry, in this case I'm getting shadows because the kitchen light is kind of up and uh, behind me. So I'll see if I can unblock the shadows a bit. But I really like how this is turning out. Got it propped up on some little clear plastic lids there above the H. And that just so it doesn't stick to the parchment paper as it dries. Again, I do apologize for the lighting. Maybe if I go a little bit this way, you'll be able to get better light on it. So hopefully I'm not blocking it. But I think that's going to dry pretty nice. I made sure all the sides and stuff were covered here and there just to make sure. And then again, I'll let this dry and uh, cure for at least a few weeks before I paint this. But I really like how it turned out. I think it's going to be really awesome when it's dry and sealed. So thanks again for watching and I do hope that you will subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm putting out here. And also to touch that uh, click on that little notification bell at the bottom also there so that you will get notified when I put out another video. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.